I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy but great looking photography website with Wix.com. So head over to Wix.com and sign up for a free account. Once you get into your account and you want to create a website you'll come onto this page and we can pick any of these different options that we have here and this will bring out all different kinds of templates for you to choose from. I'm of course going to choose photography and then we have two options that we can go with. We have the ADI or we have the editor. Now the ADI pretty much does everything for you. It creates all the pages and all the galleries and all the text and everything. It's a quick and easy way to get started but I'm going to go with the editor because you get a lot more control over how your website will actually look. When we get to the template section you can see we have all these different templates that you can pick. All these are fully editable, you can change any part of them but it's a good starting ground to get you going. You can also have a blank template and you can also choose from any of the other templates that we dismissed earlier. I'm going to go with a blank template. Even the blank templates have templates within themselves. We have minimal layouts, uh, one page layouts, gallery layouts, etc. Or you can start completely from scratch. You can view the template to see what it's going to look like or you can edit it. I'm going to click on edit. The editor will open up and you can see here we have our blank template screen. Just going to go through some of the different tools and different areas of the page. At the top here we have our main menu bar. This section here you can add pages, you can also delete pages and edit pages. Every time you add a page it will be brought up in this section. And you can name the pages anything that you like. I'm going to call this one about. And you can see when it's highlighted blue that's the page that we're actually editing. So I want to go back to the home page and we will now edit the home page. We've also got some more options here. You can save, preview, get feedback, publish, etc. You can remove that little toolbar over there if it's in the way and you can add some rulers. You can also remove the grid lines and turn off the snap to objects. You've got a help menu here and the upgrade to get to the upgraded features of Wix. Over here we can zoom out. That will bring up the entire web page and then we can move elements around and sort of see it a bit of a distance away to get a better feel of how our website looks. We can undo and redo. We can switch editor views. We can go into the mobile view so you can see what your website's going to look like on a mobile device. And of course we can save, preview and publish. So the actual page, we have several different sections here. We have the header, the page and the footer. All of these are movable and editable. If you click on one, you can see I can drag the header up or down. I can change the header design and open the settings and go into different themes for different header designs. You can also customise each design. I'm going to go with this one here. Also what we can do over here we have some more different menu options. We can actually change the background for the entire website. They've also got some video backgrounds here which are really cool. Of course you can just have a colour. I think I'm going to go with a darker sort of grey. And you can see then that has put this background onto our website. Now I want to start building some elements onto my home page here. I'm quite happy with the background being white but I want to add some text and I want to maybe add a logo or something in the header as well. I'm just going to go add the logo onto the header so I'm going to click into the header option and then click add over here. I can then add text if I want. If I wanted to just write my website name I could do that or I can insert my own picture or you can insert some free Wix pictures, clip art or big stock images. I'm going to insert my own picture. You can see I've already got some pictures here ready but I've actually designed a new logo. I don't like that logo anymore so I'm going to upload my new logo. I've got it ready to go here. So 
So that's now uploaded and you can see it's selected. So I'm going to add that to the page. Now it drops it in the middle down here, but it doesn't matter. I can move it absolutely anywhere on the page that I want. I want it up here on the header. It's a little bit big, so I need to resize it. And then I'm just going to put it over here. I will tell you that it's now added to the header. We don't need to see that again. I can also do a little bit of editing on this image if I want with animations, filters and cropping. But I'm happy with how it is. So now I want to add some elements to the actual main part of the page. I want to add a little bit of text just to say welcome to my website. So I'm going to go to add text. We've then got some themed text here. I want a sort of medium font for the paragraph and all we got to do is click edit text and then you can type in whatever you want. Again we can move this absolutely anywhere on the page that we want. I'm going to put it up here. So I want to add some photos onto the first page of my website. I want people to be able to see my pictures as soon as they log on. So I'm going to go back over to add and I'm going to click on gallery. Now we've got lots of different options here for different sorts of galleries. We can have a full width gallery. We can have different shapes, different sizes. I think I'm just going to go with this one. Actually, I don't really like that one. I don't think that works very well. So I can go up here and I can go to undo and I can remove it. I can then go back to add and then select another one. That one's much better. If I want to, I can move the placement of the gallery slightly and I can also make it a little bit smaller. I think about there is just about right. I want to change the pictures on this gallery because these aren't mine. So if we go to change images, then click on add images and we can come up to our gallery. We've got my images, social images, so you can actually pull images straight off of your social media accounts. And then you've got free images from Wix and you've got big stock images. I want to use the photos that I've taken and put on here. So I'm going to select all these photos and then click add to gallery. You see it's still got the other ones that aren't mine. So I'm going to delete those and then I'm going to click done. And then it puts all my photos in the gallery for me. You can change the layout of the gallery. You can choose how many columns it has. I think we'll go with two. You can choose how many rows, the spacing, and how text is aligned when you hover over the images. Once you've designed your website and you want to see what it looks like, we can come up to preview. And then that will show you how your website is going to look. You can see that when I click on the images, it brings them up bigger. And then we can actually scroll through all the different images in the slideshow. We can see how it's going to look on a mobile device. And we can go back to the desktop view and we can go back to the editor. Now looking at that preview, I can see that my header has been disturbed by my logo here, this little bar in the header. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to change the header design. Let's go to no color. I'm also not liking this background very much anymore. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to color and I'm going to change that to white. We can then go back to preview. And I think that looks much better. What you can also do is zoom out and that will put your web page in the middle of the screen at like that. And then we can actually move stuff around on here and you can get a much better overview of how your website looks. Now I want to create an about me page just to tell people a little bit about myself. So I'm going to come up to the pages menu and see I've already made the about page there. And we can come on here and you can see that all the images have gone now because we're on the about page. It also tells you up here. I'm going to go to add, go to text and I'm going to add some text. Click on edit. I'm going to give people some information about me and I'm going to put that there. I also want people to be able to get on my social media. So I think I'm going to add my social media buttons. 
I think I'm going to put them down there. You can set all the different links so they go straight to your social media. I also want to add another image on this page. I think I'll use this one to pretend that's a picture of me. Let's make that a bit smaller. Put it there. Perfect. Now you might have noticed that we don't actually have a menu system yet to navigate our website so I'm going to add one of those now. Go to add, go to menu. I think I'm just going to go with a pretty simple text menu. And I'm going to put it up here on my header. Just need to adjust the size a little bit just to make it fit a bit better. I think we will put it about there. Now if I preview my website I can go between my home page and my about page. I might also add a contact page so people can get in touch with me. So I'm going to go to page and call it contact. I'd like it to be after the about page so I'm going to move it down. And then I want to go to add and then select contact and again we've got lots of different forms and different ways of people to contact me. You can even set up Skype calls. I'm going to go with a basic little text box here. Just make this a little bit bigger and there we have a contact form. You can set your email address in here and you can also change the messages you get once someone has sent you a message and they get one in return. Now you can see here that our menu has actually changed. It's gone to more. This is because I set it a little bit too small. So I'm going to open this up and then we get the contact page up there as well. I just want to create one more page. I'm going to call this page Gallery. So on the Gallery page I want to showcase all my photos. I could go to add and I could go to gallery and I could insert one of these galleries that we've already seen. Well I'm going to use the Wix Pro gallery that we have here. This is on the Wix app market and on the app market are lots of different third party apps that you can download and use on your website. There's all sorts of stuff on here like forms, Instagram feeds, social apps, online stores, chat boxes and all sorts. I'm going to use the Pro Gallery and you can see it brings that up onto our gallery page. We can change the layout of this. We can change the thumbnail size, the density and lots more options. It's going to move this gallery up a little. Now again it's put all of the Wix pictures in here. So I'm going to select all of these, select all, delete. I'm going to add in my images again. And you can see it brings up my images there. Nice and big, full screen. Now my images are in there. I'm just going to play around with the layout a little bit. quite like that one. I'm just going to bring in some margins. And there we have a really cool photo gallery showcasing all of my photos. I'm just going to go to the preview again just to see it. And then when you click on an image it will bring it up nicely. And we can close it again. Just going to zoom out to see what my website looks like. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to save my website so I don't lose all this hard work that I've just done. And once I'm happy with how my website looks, we can go to publish and that will actually put my website online. You can then go to view site and you can see my website in all its glory up on the internet. Now this was built using the free package from Wix but you can't actually upgrade to some paid packages. If you click on upgrade you can compare all the different plans that they have on offer. 
Their most popular is the Unlimited, £7.76 a month. And for that you get unlimited bandwidth, 10 gig of storage, you can connect your own domain name, you get a free domain name, remove the ads, you get $75 worth of Google AdWords vouchers which is pretty cool. You can get a form builder app and a site booster app. You can see all the other different options that they have there. If I wanted I could also add a blog to my website. It's fully integrated so it's a really good way if you want to talk about the photos that you've taken and tell people how you went about taking them etc. So that is how to create a really good looking photography website really quickly with Wix.com.